Hey, what is going on guys? It's the Game of Pro Wars on CGB and in today's video I'm bringing you guys a KN44 class setup. But before I actually recommend you guys a class setup for the KN44, I'm actually going to talk a little bit about the gameplay. So you're seeing some Nuketown Domination gameplay with the KN44 Diamond. I actually start off really, really bad in like the start, the first maybe two minutes, then I pick myself up, I get bloodthirsties and everything, I get, I think I end up with like a 2KD in the first round. Now I'm hoping to prestige today, I think in this video you're actually going to see me level up to 33. I actually from level 10 all the way to the level I am right now, it took me about 3 hours, so I hope by around 2, 3 a.m. I'm actually going to hit third prestige. But yeah, I'm actually going to stop talking about the gameplay. Let's get into the class setup. So on screen right now is the recommended setup with the KN44. So as you guys can see, to start off, I have three attachments on this gun. You can put however much you want, but I actually don't recommend it. Now the first attachment I definitely recommend you guys is the grip, just because it does kick a little bit the KN44, and you definitely need to reduce that recoil with the grip. So the second attachment I'm actually going to recommend you guys is high caliber, just because you can get the headshots easily. You can, I think it increases the damage by just a little bit. I'm not really sure about that, but the gun does feel a lot better with high caliber. And the third and final attachment I'm actually going to recommend you guys is stock, so you can maneuver around while aiming down sights faster, and it definitely does help you. Now this lethal, I actually have to talk a little bit about. If you're going to play team deathmatch, uplink, free for all, kill confirmed, this isn't that much of a great lethal. I wouldn't even run a lethal, just add another tactical and you'll be fine. But if you're like me and you play Domination, Hardpoint, all those objective game modes, use the trip mine just because it's like a bounce and Betty. If an enemy comes close, he'll automatically trigger and die. Unless the enemy has hardwired, then he is immune to those. And now the tacticals I actually recommend is a concussion grenade. As I said before, you can take out the lethal and add another concussion grenade or any tactical you want if you are playing those non-objective game modes. Now for perk one, I'm definitely going to recommend you guys flak jacket. For any game mode, this is one of the best perks to use just so you don't get killed with grenades and you definitely will hire your KD. Now the second perk I'm actually gonna recommend you guys is fast hand so you can throw your trip mine and your concussion grenades a lot faster than your enemies. Now the third and final perk I'm going to recommend you guys is tactical mask. This is the most important, most crucial perk in this game. Especially when you play the objective game modes like domination, hard point, or maybe even uplink. But for this perk, I want you guys to use all the time just because everybody throws concussion grenades. I'm focusing specifically on concussion grenades just because everybody uses that tactical. Now for the last and final thing of this class setup, I'm going to recommend you guys a specialist that you have to use, or you don't want to, you can use whatever you want, but it's Ruins Overdrive. You can just zoom like the flash all the way to the other side if you are playing Nuketown just like I do. You can zoom right through the enemy's team and just destroy all of them as I'm using in the gameplay in the background. It is very useful at times, and I definitely will recommend you it. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and I will see you you guys in my next video tomorrow. Peace out.